Hey guys, Todd from COSN coming at you again today. Hey, so today what I want to do is a really quick DIY video on how to build your own bow quiver for the PGU, the Primal Gear Unlimited Folding Survival Bow. Um, it'll work for other uh, other bows. This has been around for a while. There's uh, quite a few videos out there on how to do this, but I figured uh, I had a couple of my subscribers ask me to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick how to build your own bow quiver. So hey, stay tuned and let's check it out. All right guys, let's go ahead and go over materials and tools needed really quick. Um, I will put those down in the description block as well as the actual measurements to build this. So, uh, very first thing you need is to get some men's at least 10 and a half inch flip flops. Some duct tape, uh, I use Gorilla Tape, I like that the best. A Sharpie or black marker. Also a box knife or razor knife, whichever you want to call that a ruler or a tape measure, and also a drill with either a 936 bit or a 764. So those are the tools and materials that you need to do this, very simple. And like I said, I'll put it down in the description block. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the basic measurements on this bow quiver. Okay, so we've got three inches wide or three and a quarter, and then we have three and a half in length. Now those can be adjusted depending on if you want to get a little bit more length if you have larger fingers. Like I showed you uh, in this picture here, it's really important to make enough room for your thumb and because if you don't it's going to be too tight. So it's really important to make that measurement correct. Now where that measurement comes in is you have your holes here and from the outside to the holes is 5 8 now where it's important from the holes to the limb hole is one inch. And that's gonna give you enough room for your thumb to slip through again at uh, this picture is to put your thumb through. So you want at least one inch. Now if you want that a little bit bigger, of course you're gonna to have to increase your length of this piece, okay? Now uh, the hole itself for the limb is one inch by 3 16 That's one inch is in long by 3 16 wide, okay? That's your basic measurements. Your hole diameters is 9 30 seconds, or we're using today a 17 64 drill bit for these holes. All right, guys, so I'm going to rock this out. I want to give you just basically the gist of this. I've already given you the measurements, so I'm going to show you uh, one side and how it's made. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take and measure across the low point, and what I'm doing is I'm avoiding this top hole. So right now, what I can do is basically just draw a line straight across and eliminate that hole, okay? So from there, I'm gonna measure down three and a half inches, which is important to get. Once you get your three and a half inches, just draw a line straight across. And like I said, uh, you want at least three inches, but this one is maybe, no, we're right on spot. Okay, so, right, this is basically three and a half from here to here, three inches wide, okay? Now you're like thinking, well, now you got this funky design, which you do. So what you're gonna have to do, and this is what I usually do, is I just get, kind of eyeball it, go straight across, and I will eyeball it for this. And main, try to maintain that three inches. So come across, and this actually works a lot better if you got a ruler, but I did not have one for this. So go three inches, and so we'll be a little bit off down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, just cut as close as we can to this side and get are three inches out, all right? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and freehand this. Usually I would use a ruler and I'd follow that ruler to make nice even cuts, but I'm just gonna freehand this. Okay. Okay guys, so now that I got my basic square, I'm gonna go ahead and put my other measurements on here. And like I said, we're gonna go five eighths out to make the holes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a line in and go straight across again. Now these are gonna be the holes for the arrows. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, and like I said, you can actually make a four if you make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I prefer the three arrow holder, but, and like I said, you can make it a four if you want. So I just basically eyeball it, put some put some dots in there and I'm giving you, you know, like I said, kind of just a rough idea of how this is done. Now, it's really important to go from the hole and give yourself enough room, like I said, for your thumb, 
So go from the hole one inch out, and you can measure center if you'd like. Let's take a rough center. Okay, so now we're gonna go one inch out from the hole, then one inch for the actual limb. Okay, now I'm just gonna draw a line. All right, so that's basically it. I know it's in black, I apologize, but that's what I use. Okay, now that you got that, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes out for the arrows. Be careful you don't hit your hand. Okay, so I got my three arrow holes done. I'm just basically gonna take and cut slits out from those. Okay, you see right there, I just basically cut slits where your arrows will go in. Now on the actual limb hole, you wanna be kinda of careful that you don't overcut. And you get about, I'd say anywhere from an eight to a three sixteenths hole for the limb so it holds it tight. And I'll show you a trick to when it gets wore out or if you cut your hole too big. That's where the duct tape comes in. Okay, push that out. Bam. All right, so now like I said, that's rough, but that's a basic idea and then you guys can, you know, make it fancy, you can round it off. Like on my other one, I just took the edges off. Give it a little, you know, give it a little texture, whatever you guys want to do to it. So that's basically how you make a bow quiver for your arrows. And let's take a look on how it goes on the bow. All right, guys, so basically however you're handed, right or left-handed, so I'm right-handed, basically fits over, slides down, and then you build another one to match, same measurements, and then you just pop your arrows in. Now, these will get a little bit looser as time goes on. Uh, might have actually held up pretty good. I haven't had to do anything to the air, actual arrow holds yet. I have had to modify the middle hole because it does get loose after time. So let me show you how to fix that. If that gets loose, if this center hole for your actual limb gets loose, just go ahead and take your duct tape. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around where that hole is. You're gonna take your razor knife and you're just gonna cut a slit. Okay, so once you get that slit cut, what that does is it basically just tightens that up on your bow. <clears throat> and let me tell you, that holds on there and that isn't going anywhere. All right guys, so that's your real basic uh, arrow quiver and that'll hold your three arrows four arrows I bet you could even make a five arrow but it's really important to maintain this distance when you're building it because that's where your thumb goes and if you don't make enough room you're not getting your thumb in there actually I made that mistake when I first made these and uh, I bought them too tight to the bow and I had to remake it so you, you know you just kind of learn like I said though I'll put all the measurements down in the description block. If you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and put it down in the comment blocks. And hey, I thank you guys for watching everything you do for me. I really appreciate it.